This is Akashwani, the news read by Prem Sharma. A two-day BJP national convention has begun today with the start of the party's office bearers meeting at Bharat Mandapam in New Delhi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, BJP Chief J.P. Nadda, Indian Minister including Amit Shah, Rajnath Singh and Nitin Gadkari are present in the meeting. Around 11,500 delegates including Union Minister, Chief Ministers of Party Ruled States, State Ministers, National and State Party Office Bearers, MPs and MLAs are participating in this event. The convention assumes significance because of the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. The meeting will conclude tomorrow with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's valedictory address. The countdown for GSLV F-14 is progressing well at the second launch pad of the Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota. Scientists at the center are monitoring vital parameters to ensure a precise launch at 5.30 p.m. today. Inset 3DS will be predominantly used for studying and researching the weather data and the changes in atmospheric conditions, precisely predicting uh, the awaiting disasters. The data will also be used for search and rescue missions using high-resolution photographs. The objective is to provide a holistic profile of the Earth's surface and oceanic observation. The imager payload will have one visible channel and 18 narrow spectral channels. The data relay transponder will receive hydrological and oceanographic data for multi-user automatic weather stations. Satellite-aided rescue and research transponder relay distress signal alert detection for the beacon transmitters for the mission. It will also penetrate any type of clouds during fog, rainfall, snow cover, snow depth, fire smoke, aerosol, water vapor and atmospheric changes. National Commission for Scheduled CAST has recommended the imposition of President's rule in West Bengal in its report submitted to President Draupadi Murmu on alleged harassment of women by TMC supporters in Sandesh Khali. A report has submitted by NCSC Chairman in charge Arun Haldar. In a media briefing held in New Delhi yesterday, Mr. Haldar said that they have recommended the President's rules should be imposed in West Bengal over the situation there under Article 338 that aims to safeguard rights of SCs. A delegation of the NCSC had visited Sandesh Kali on Thursday after a large number of women claimed that TMC leader Sa Sajaha Sheikh and his supporters captured swaths of land by force and also sexually harassed them. India Metrical Department has forecast the possibility of intense rain and snowfall over the western Himalayan region from today and adjoining plains of northwest India from Monday till the 22nd of this month. In a view of heavy rainfall and snowfall, the weather agency had suggested some measures for the concerned states. It said there might be a disruption of electricity, landslides, rock falls, mudslides and blocking of roads and highways. Meanwhile, in the country's capital Delhi, there is a daily increase in cold due to sunshine during the day. The air quality level in Delhi was recorded in the poor category in this morning. According to the Central Pollution Control Board, the air quality index stood at 255 at 7 a.m. In the Badminton Asia Team Championship 2024, the Indian women's team reached the finals by defeating Japan 3-2 in the semi-finals in Malaysia. With this, India has secured a silver medal, but they will definitely eye for the gold. The Indian women settlers will play the final match of the championship tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. in Salangor. In today's match against Japan, Olympic gold medalist P.V. Sindhu lost the first game. After this, the pair of Teresa Jolie and Gayatri Gopichand Pulela made a comeback and won in the doubles category, followed by another win by Asmita Chaliha in singles category. Indian Space Research Organization will organize a special program for school children called Young Scientist Program Yuva Vigyani Karikram from the 13th of May this year. The key objective of this initiative is to impart basic knowledge on space science, space technology and space applications to the younger students in the emerging trends in space science and technology. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.